<laughs> it's actually pavement. Do y'all know what's up at the top up there? Fire tower. Fire tower, okay. Okay, so this is the top of the gravel road. If you take the if you take the right fork, well it's not really a fork, I guess if you stay on the gravel road, that's the end of it. So it's pretty easy, tech, not, not technical at all, just staying on the gravel road as long as you can drive a gravel road. This is pretty easy stuff to get from the bottom of the pavement all the way to the top of Buffalo Mountain. Up behind that gate is a fire tower. Uh, they said the gate was open last week, but it's not open today. And these are the trails that I've ridden on the DRZ 400 and the DRZ 250. I'm just on the gravel part now. And uh, the trails are off the side. It's a pretty fun little area. It's not really long, but it's uh, it's worth the uh, worth the trip. If you don't don't got anywhere else to ride, and you live in uh, Tri Cities area. Now, if you live in North Carolina or anywhere farther, uh, there's probably better places to come and ride. But this is just because it's there's it's not very long. It's only about 12 miles or something, whereas. Oh, trail crossing. Make sure nobody comes out in front of me. I've got a really funny video on my 125 right here where I broke my clutch lever. <laughs> ah, that was fun. A long time ago. There's, see, there's the trail right there, that part of the trails. There's more of them up here. So if you're into dual sporting, come on out to Buffalo Mountain. Take the gravel road. It's only about a mile south of the uh, parking lot for the Buffalo Mountain ATV Park. And I will tell you how long it is when I get to the bottom because I didn't have my tracks running at the beginning apparently. But I have had signal intermittently so I ended up getting a map back on my phone. Woohoo! Alright. So I will catch you at the bottom. Well, I haven't made it quite to the fork yet. Woo! La -la 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 -la. There's the fork right there. All right, so I filmed up to this point, and I filmed it the other way coming up, so I will, well, maybe I did, I can't remember. I can't remember, so I'll just check the footage when I get back. All right, we're back to the beginning. So that's what it looks like on the map. And uh, check out my data here, there we go. Oh, it's in kilometers. <laughs> So it is 7.49 kilometers. <laughs> oh, so I'll make that conversion. I'll have to set, check my settings and fix that for later. But it is, it is an out and back only. So once you get up to the top, just turn around and come on back down. So it's nothing. Not a loop of any kind, but this is the road that takes you here. And uh, if you go that way, you get to Johnson City. If you go this way, you get to, depending on which way you're coming from, you can come from Greenville or come from Irwin, Tennessee. And I've been on this road in the winter time with uh, Yama Joe, and it, it, we had some snow on it. Uh, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you uh, are out dual sporting as much as you possibly can, as much as possible. Dual sport on a map. Dual sport on a map.